The chocolate. Oh, wow. Wow. What is that? No, that's calcified that been stuck in here since this thing started. Look, you can see it on the ground. Look, mm -hmm. it's just all calcified inside the pipe like this, stuck in there. Wow. I'll leave it there for her to look at. <laughs> dry rot surprise! Dry. <laughs> Good old dry rot surprise. Show the tiny little drain over there, which is stupid. Purpose of the video, people. You know, I keep coming across these challenges. Here I am. I'm in Marin County here, uh, San Anselmo in Marin County, Northern California. Uh, and this video is actually going to be a little bit more of a, it's more always information. I'm always trying to keep you guys informed. This is a little bit out of the ordinary as far as um, this is more of some thinking ahead type stuff. So, for instance, we're on this job. You know, the lady already told me she spent sixty thousand dollars to remodel it because it leaked down this wall and ruined the whole inside. When, like like five or six winters ago, um, so I come here now and I see what the guys did. Okay, and they got a good pitch there. They got a good pitch coming here. But what happens is the water puddles right here and it won't go to the drain because they didn't make it go to the drain right. So he pitched it here and then there's a flat spot. And we were just cleaning it, and I should have thought of this when I was cleaning it to take a video of it and show you guys. The water was up to here, and it wouldn't go out of the drain. So we had to kind of sweep it off, buff it dry, and I should have showed you that, but take my word for it. There's fucking thing with this much water on it. It was all puddled right where I'm standing, and there's the drain, and it's the only drain. So you can see how tiny the drain is. So purpose of the video was make sure your tile setters giving you the perfect pitch to your drains. Make sure you use common sense and don't put a freaking drain this big. You know, one leaf clogged it up. You see what I'm saying? And then, um, the, but the good thing they did do that I liked is if you come over here and look down, is they put it, it, it drips into this gutter here, and then the gutter goes all the way down, and then they ran a pipe all the way out to the street. They didn't, they didn't, they did not let the water drip onto the tile down below. So that's something else you'll want to think about is watered from gutters. You know, those guys convincing you to let it drip down onto the other tile. All that stuff over time wears away your grout, starts to create water damage. Remember, outside water is the enemy. So same thing, if you look here, you can see they got the good pitch. You know, you can see all the, you know, it's, it's all the water is going to come down here. Comes to this drain around here. And then same thing, look, tiny ass little hole. And when I get here, it was full of leaves. The water was backing up. So what I want you, we're going to do again, is if you look down in there, you can see all the calcium and stuff that started to build up. So when I actually leaned over to clean it out, I pulled out all kind of weeds and roots. And you guys wouldn't believe how clogged up it was. So same thing, people, you just want to, you know, when you're designing your home or you have somebody design it, make sure that they have your best interest of the future of draining, not just today, not just tomorrow. This stuff is all long term. Dry rot is the leading cause of death. I see it everywhere I go. We're on another job out in Sonoma. The lady ripped out one wall, ripped out the whole wall. She ended up, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 later for the remodel. Same with this lady. So listen to me. Water is the enemy. Don't just think about how beautiful it looks the day you get your new home. You gotta think about one year, five years, 10 years, because trust me, it gets costly and it's stuff that's so preventable. Keeping keeping your edges caulked really well, making sure your grout's all filled, sealed, making sure there's sealer on it, making sure you have all proper drainage, which, you know, making sure when it's originally installed and especially if you're having somebody install it, you didn't like buy the house and it was there. I mean, if you buy it, you kind of get stuck with it. But this, they, she paid the lady to do it, and, the, and, the, and, the, and that could have been prevented. Uh, and I could see that being a problem in the future. Uh, but we're here now. We're, we're patching all the holes. We're going to seal it and get it as tight as we can. But when the water puddles on my sealer that thick over and over, eventually it will break my sealer down, um, and it just won't hold up like we want it to. So purpose of this video, and I'm going to show you more when we go around the back because there's more of this, and I'm going to show you what really happens when there's water damage. Um, and um, she may be having some dry rot and stuff already going back there. So you'll see that in a second. Um, we'll chime back in. So remember, like us, subscribe, share, boom.
right, so come back to me. Hey, hey, hey. We're in Marin County. We're still on the same project I was showing you earlier. I just told you I'd come around back, so I've come around back, and I want to show you. Um, so what the last guy she did three or four years ago is because he couldn't get it clean, so he does what I try to tell you guys not to do, is he sanded it. And uh, so what I want you to do is if you pan down here, you can see this is normal, this is sanded. Normal, sanded, look at that, sanded. See what happens is people, as these things are like French bread, you know, you start sanding off this crusty layer, now you're into the soft clay, and you can see back here. But what he didn't even do is he didn't even stop the original problem, which was this drip right here. So all he did is sand off everything and just pretty much left her with a drip. So right now what we're doing is we're trying to pray some private investigator here and we're trying to figure out what's going on with the drip. Uh, Cause obviously I can't replace these tiles and fix this guy's madness until I, uh, you know, we stop that drip problem. So we've turned off all the sprinklers up here. We're gonna lift some of these pots up, elevate them. She's gonna water them by hand. Um, you know, we're going to help her get to the bottom of this, you know what I mean? Like, I'm committed to helping her. She's been a great customer, so I'm kind of committed here to helping her figure out what the hell's going on. I've been doing this a long time, and I haven't, I've never seen something that just won't ever stop dripping. I mean, it's been, it hasn't rained here since May. So, you know, for it to be dripping like this constantly from three plants with some drip system on it. So that's the thing I'm saying. So I'm not saying it's not the drip system, but those are things you guys are going to want to be thinking about when you're building these, you know, amazing homes or remodeling these amazing homes you got. is about drainage, drainage, drainage. You remember, water is the enemy. You want to do everything you can to divert water, waterproof everything. And this underneath this deck right here is her living room. So at some point, this water is going to start working itself into the wall, and she's going to start having problems. If you come around to the side over here, please. So she already spent $60,000 to fix the other leaky back deck. So, you know, now here we are. And I didn't, obviously, I didn't do that work, but I'm here now to try to help salvage this and figure out what the heck's going on. But even I don't have a damn clue, people. So we're gonna try a couple experiments here and see if any of it works. Like, we're, you know, even though our rainy season is coming. Cause see, I already patched all the grout. I've already sealed everything. I moved all these pots that are over here. I cleaned under them. I got all the calcium off. I sealed under them. I made sure there was no, um, you know, open holes. We caulked all along the walls really good to make sure nothing could get into the caulking or get along the walls. So it, it, it's something underneath, but I don't know what, I know these things aren't dripping through and going through, so I don't know. I think she may have a leaky pipe somewhere and you know, like there's a faucet over here against the wall over here that could be leaking inside the wall. I don't know, and I'm not saying that's what it is. I just, I'm trying to do my Sherlock Holmes here. And this is just way too much water dripping every day, constant drip for it not to be a consistent water thing. She only waters these plants like for 10 minutes, four, you know, four times a week. Yeah, their water's coming out of the bottom, but I don't think it's enough to saturate through the grout and actually, um, you know, come all the way down and drip. Because also the deck is actually slanted that way, and there is a drain down at that end, so I'm not sure exactly how water's coming in reverse and dripping right here. So that's the part that's got me kind of more like, you know, what the hell than anything. That's what makes me feel like it's maybe some kind of this pipe leaking inside the wall and water's dripping down and it running over. I, I don't know. Even then it would, it would go that way. So that's why I'm, saying I'm completely baffled by this. Mm -hmm. But all this could do is lead to problems. If this water dripping here and this is the roof to the, to the living room down below, at some point this is going to become a problem. So anyway, those so people, purpose of the video is, actually I got quite a few purposes of the video. For one, you know, you want to elevate your pots, make sure they're sealed underneath they'll start to get the calcium, the hard water. Um, the, the most important one I'm talking about, I was, I was gonna, I'm showing you guys in the video, is I was just showing you guys how this dipshit sanded these because he didn't know how to approach it chemically. Um, you know, like if she would have uh, tracked us down in the beginning and knew a little bit more about it, she would have known a lot to let him do it. So if you look at the ones I'm standing on, how nice they look, that's what these actually look like. So what we're gonna do is actually, once we figure out how to fix this freaking uh, drip here, I'm going to pop all these things out and, of course, match them as close as possible because these tiles are from the 80s. Um, 
and then replace these and at least get it watertight, get the water to stop dripping and at least get it as nice back to attractive and nice as she can. Because this is an amazing house. You can see she's got the sports court. She's got the bridge going to it. You know, I mean, flagstone down below. I mean, this house is an amazing house. You know, and it just, you know, if you poke your head down here, you can see it's starting to create problems down below because it's dripping onto the flagstone down below here and it's starting to take its toll and abuse on that. So it's starting to, you know, basically ruin the stuff down below. You can see it's ruining the wall, it's ruining this. So you got to be careful with the way you're watering your plants and your, and I know you love your foliage, I get it, they're amazing, but you got to be careful with the water. Remember, water's the enemy. Waterproof everything, overdo it. Make sure your tile guys are put, giving you a perfect pitch, even if they over-exaggerate it. You'd rather have an over, over pitch deck than an under pitch deck with flat, flat, flat spots, you, I promise you. Um, and then of course, sticking to the maintenance for a sealer, uh, keeping it sealed. You people outside, you're gonna wanna seal these things at least every three years. I, I don't wanna sit here and tell you, oh, five years, 10 years, I just know from experience that the sun, the water, they beat this shit down and it doesn't hold up. And I don't care what sealer it's from, I don't care if they told you they went and bought it from a planet out by Mars somewhere. All sealers are the same, made by different people, but it's the same shit, just a different marketing label on it. So my point being is, um, seal these things often. You can't overseal, especially if you're using like the penetrators or your enhancers, and you shouldn't be using the shiny crap out here anyway. So stick to the maintenance, most of it'll be, and all the damage on this whole job is all caused by water. Everything I fix for her, all the money uh, she's been spending on it to keep it looking nice, it's all stuff that's caused by water. So think about that, that's my job, keeping you guys informed. Like us, subscribe, share, most of all people, don't be a clone, just keep yourself educated. It'll, you'll you'll, th you'll thank yourself five, ten years from now because a lot of this is long term. It doesn't just happen in one day. It's a long term life. You know, blah, blah, blah. Your kids grow up. You got grandkids. Blah, 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 blah. Just life happens. Some of you stay in your house forever. Some stay for 25 years, 30 years. I mean, you're here a long time and it kind of flies by. So stick to the maintenance of these things. You'll thank me later. Um, and just, of course, don't let people sand your shit. I'm going to keep stressing that to you guys because you guys aren't getting it. No more sanding. No habla espa sander. That's just bananas. You can just see all off.